Hi and welcome to this lesson on enthalpy of hydration. In the previous lesson, we had a look at how to calculate lattice enthalpies from born harbour cycles and the fact that this value differs a little bit from its the theoretical value from the born harbour cycle to the experimental value because the Arnick theory has got a lot of assumptions in it. And actually, often these Arnick lattices, they've got a partial covalent character and we need to be able to explain those. Here we're going to have a look at the enthalpy of hydration. So another definition that we've got here, the enthalpy of hydration. It's the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous ions is dissolved in water to give one mole of aqueous ions in a solution of infinite dilution. So the enthalpy change of hydration, it's always going to be exothermic as water molecules surround ions and that forms new forces of attraction. And here we've got an example that fits our definition. So plus a Q, that is us putting it into that water. Infinite dilution sounds a little bit unusual. So it's a lot simpler than it sounds. It just means that if you add, if you add any more water to the solution, it's so diluted that the concentration won't change. So the ions will only interact with water molecules. They cannot interact with each other. They're that diluted or any other ions. So when we put plus a Q, that's taken to mean a large excess of water. What does enthalpy change of hydration depend on? Well, one of those things is ionic charge. The greater the ionic charge, the stronger the ion dipole interactions that form between the ions in the ionic lattice and the water molecules. And ionic radius, so the lower the charge density, so that usually means the greater the radius, the weaker the ion dipole interactions between the ions of the lattice and the water molecules. So the greater the radius is, the kind of less dense those charges can be, the less interested it's going to be with those water molecules. And overall, we can say that the higher the charge density of an ion, the greater or the more negative. We shouldn't say the greater really, because we could be going up the number line to positive, the more negative or the more exothermic the enthalpy change of hydration is.